Hi everybody, I have a Just Because video for you this evening. So this is the sketch that we are working on for Christy's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches. I have a photo and I have the Vintage Artistry Serenity Collection Kit and some embellishments from that line from 49th and Market. I have not touched this collection yet and I really wanted to create with it and I found the perfect photo both for the collection and it will work uh, along with the sketch. Now I'm going to go way off the reservation with the sketch. It ends up looking nothing like the sketch, just FYI. If this was one of those... Uh, layouts where I kind of started working with it and then I had a burst of creativity and just kind of went out on my own so it's it's slightly kind of sort of maybe a little bit like the sketch <laughs> but not so much so I'm going to start by going through the papers and choosing a couple I wanted to use this background the the one that my photo is sitting on because I just loved how the design that's printed on that paper with the flowers worked so perfectly um, to kind of showcase and, and frame out my photo across the bottom. I love that. And then I'm going to use this floral paper. And I'm actually going to end up using this entire sheet of floral paper. And I'm going to use both sides to create some layers underneath my photo. By taking advantage of both sides of this pattern paper, I was able to kind of, in one sense, conserve my patterns or my large sheets of paper. So you can kind of see here, I'm gonna go, I love the way this looks. So my photo is gonna be mat matted with like the more um, saturated, pattern heavy layout. And then I'm gonna do the one section that had the printed flower onto my page and then I'm going to go back to that kind of quieter side of the pattern paper and I'm going to layer them up exactly the way that you see there. I'm going to ink up all of my layers using Hickory Smoke Distress Oxide Ink. Love that stuff. It is going to add the perfect edge to each of my layers so that you're really able to see all the layers that are behind my photo. And I'm gonna push these layers up a little bit because I really want you to be able to see the bottom printed portion of my background paper. And let me just say right now that now that I've started to use this collection, you're going to see this collection in heavy rotation on my channel because I absolutely love it. It turned, it's so pretty. Like it is so, so pretty. I just, I adore it. And now you're going to watch me fidget. Unfortunately, this is just what happens when you are working with the first layout of a new collection. Especially when you start the, the um, layout thinking, well, I'll use the sketch and that'll help with, you know, deciding what products to use and such. And then you kind of ditch the sketch and go off in your own direction. <laughs> so... I'm going to fidget here for a while until I figure out what I want to do and where I want to put all of these pretty embellishments. If you watched my layout from last Thursday, the one that uh, my dear friend Nicole went ahead and voiceovered for me, then um, you will have seen a layout that was heavy on the rub-ons. And this layout will be exactly the same way, heavy on the rub-ons. Because if there is one thing that 49th and Market does so well, so well, it is rub-ons. You guys, you don't even understand. 49th and Market has the most amazing rub-ons. They are amazing in style. They are amazing to use. They go on like butter. I just, I can't say enough about them. Um, the other product from 49th and Market that I cannot say enough about are their laser cut elements and their lovely, gorgeous, fabulous, thick paper. So good, you guys. 
Um, if you have not tried their products, I so recommend them. I am adding rub-ons to my photos. I'm adding rub, I'm going to add a rub-on underneath my photo for my title. I'm going to go through and I decide to grab all these little buttons off of the laser cut elements. I wanted to keep, so part of me wanted to keep this layout pretty simple. Part of me wanted to go crazy and just start piling all the things onto it. But <laughs> I'm going to try hard. One thing that was a part of the sketch, but not a huge part, were there were these little, um, they, they kind of wanted to look like ribbons maybe. Um, uh, and for some reason, that part of the sketch stuck in my head. So I'm going to kind of reinvent that part of the sketch in that I am making that more of a big embellishment or a larger element on my page. And I'm going to kind of boost that design into my element, into my page. So what I'm doing is I'm just cutting these small strips of paper from what was left of that one pattern. I'm going to put some, a tiny attacher in one end and I'm going to layer these up. Again, this is slightly maybe inspired by the sketch, but it it turned, this is so different by now. <laughs> I just kind of took a couple little things that I remembered the sketch had and went with it. Uh, so I don't even know if this counts as a sketch as part of Christie's 30 Day of Sketches, but we're going to say it does. I am going to go ahead. I made, oh gosh, I want to say 10 of these because I'm going to layer them. You can see I'm kind of laying them up, layering them up all beside the photo here, but then I'm going to add more on the side of my photo and then the side of that one layering piece. And then you can kind of see here how it, it looks almost like a banner sort of. I don't know what to describe it, how to describe it, but I loved it and it looked so cool. So I went with it and did it and it was really unique. This isn't um, a technique or something I do on a lot of my layouts and I just, or it might not even be something I've ever done on my layout before, but I really, really like how it turned out. It turned out really cute. So I'm gonna pull together uh, some of the layers or cut elements in the way of, um, tickets and buttons and things like that and then I'm also going to pull together that's right more rub-ons and I'm going to get all of my embellishments onto the page now my embellishments I don't know I put them wherever I felt like my layout needed embellishments by this time you guys the, the sketch is gone it's just I put on <laughs> my iPad where the sketch was housed is now um, playing TV of some sort. I don't remember what I was watching while I was creating this. And yeah, I am using some of the packaging. Remember, 49th and Market is one of those companies that does the amaz amazing packaging trick, which means when you purchase something from them, if you flip over the packaging on the back there are pieces and elements that you can fussy cut and then use on your scrapbook page. Love, love, love that. So much less waste that way. And I have some of those. So I'm going to fussy cut uh, the little ticket pieces. I'm going to fussy cut some more buttons so that I have enough to add them around my layout where I want them. So now my clusters are all in place where I'd like them to be, and but they're not put down yet. And the reason they're not put down is because I'm gonna put more rub-ons behind them. <laughs> I love these. These are like fussy. These are, these rub-ons are mixed media without the mess. Uh, 49th and Market has done these for the last couple of their collections and they're fabulous. I don't have to get out all of these inks. I don't have to get out all of these paints, but I can get that gorgeous look that those inks and paints provide in a beautiful rub-on that goes down on my page. Super easy. Love it. I'm going to cut some of these rub-ons in half 
or cut them into pieces so I can get them exactly where I want them on my page. You'll see here, I cut this one in half, placed half of it down, then I'm gonna put my cluster down and then I'm going to put the other side of the rub on down and it gives the impression that all of that beautiful paint is behind my cluster of embellishments. So I'm gonna do this for each cluster of embellishments here. Um, I kept the clusters small. They're really just like a ticket and then the um, buttons. But because I'm gonna add those splashes of ink from the rub-ons behind them, it's going to give them a lovely pop. As I was working through these clusters, I also went ahead and added a little bit of splatter here and there to keep it kind of messy. This is a picture that my brother sent me of his family. It's kind of funny. Um, my brother is holding my niece upside down. <laughs> and my sister-in-law looks a little worried. Um, <laughs> but it's so cute. They're all wearing matching pajamas. And I just, I thought it was adorable. And he sent it to me and it matches his collection. Perfect. So it had to be scrapbook. I'm gonna go ahead and just trim off this little bit off the side, and then I am going to call this one all done. Thank you so much for joining me this Wednesday evening. Here is my finished layout. I totally love this collection now, and I'm super excited because our Through the Rainbow, Through the Rainbow color for this month is like, gray slash silver and I feel like I'm going to be able to use this collection for that as well. Talk to you all again soon. Bye!